Well, speaking of monetary policy, I mean, you've also been fairly critical, uh, may have had a reaction or two to people talking about burning tokens. But as, uh, <laughs> you know, DAOs, I mean, we, we create communities and we have to regulate the monetary policy on a community you know, base level. Is there any time that it does make sense to have a burn or a mint or, um, you know, to, to somehow manipulate, let's say, the, uh, the currency? Or Yeah, if, if you have algorithms that require that, like an algorithmic stable coin, or you're doing a token upgrade, you know, so proof of burn to destroy a token, to redeem a token on another system, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Where it becomes problematic is when you have a cryptocurrency with a deflationary monetary policy like Bitcoin or Cardano, and there's a fixed monetary policy, to come in and say, we'll destroy tokens. Well, why are they asking to do that? They're asking to do that to manipulate the price. And then the tokens are already all distributed. So you literally have to steal tokens from somebody to do that. The problem is there's a lot of projects where there's this gigantic pre-mine that insiders control, like a foundation or something like that. And they've kind of indoctrinated an entire generation of investors in this industry to believe that every cryptocurrency is that way. It's not the case with Cardano and it's not the case with Bitcoin. So there's certainly things like Ethereum did this with EIP, was it 1559? 1155? 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, that's right. Yeah. One of the EIPs. Yeah. They, 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 uh, they have a burning policy now. And, you know, it could work. Uh, but then you have to be really careful behind, well, if that's an algorithm, you can game algorithms in very unproductive ways. And see so if you be always thinking like, how do I build the ultimate algorithm that's not manipulatable? And then if it's humans deciding this, how are we any better than the Federal Reserve manipulating interest rates and monetary supply? I mean, I thought we built these things to get away from that. And now we're going back to that because some day trader wants to get a 10x. Right. You know, and the greatest burn in the industry, I think, was Stellar. Didn't they destroy like a meaningful percentage of the entire supply and it did nothing yeah. for them in terms of price appreciation. So in practice, it doesn't actually work. But we wrote a paper on it. We, we read a lot of papers. So if you're interested, there's a proof of burn paper that shows how to do a provably secure proof of burn and it's something anybody can implement uh, for the monetary policy of their DAP if they, uh, if they want to pursue that end and do it in a provably secure way. Yeah.